Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to perform a clean boot in Windows 10. So a clean boot is basically when Windows has started using a minimal set of drivers and programs. So this will definitely help reduce the software conflicts that might occur when you're running a program in Windows 10. And you want to see specifically if there's a program in particular that is causing your issue. This is definitely a nice feature for troubleshooting purposes. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. And we're going to start, and there's a few different ways of how we can proceed with this tutorial. I'm going to go with what I think to be the simplest way. And we're going to start by heading over to the Start menu, and we're going to type in msconfig. And we should see the top search result says System Configuration directly above Desktop App. You want to right-click on it, and then left-click on Run as Administrator. Underneath the General tab, you want to select Selective Startup and then you want to uncheck Load Startup Items so if this option is not selected you want to select this and then again you want to uncheck Load Startup Items Load System Services can stay checked you want this to be filled in so then at this point you want to click on the Services tab at the top left click on Hide All Microsoft Services and then left click on disable all on this button right here then you want to left click on the startup tab in system configuration left click on the button that says open task manager you want to disable all of these applications right here and then you can exit out of task manager then you want to click on apply in system configurations window and then click on OK It'll say you might need to restart your computer in order to apply these changes before restarting, save any open files, and close all programs. At this point, you would left click on Restart, and this will boot Windows in a clean boot environment. So just keep that in mind. Um, when you're done with this, you want to undo everything we just did in reverse. Or do it on, it doesn't have to be in reverse, but you want to make sure you enable all of the task manager entries you disabled. You want to definitely enable services you might have disabled as well that are non Microsoft related. And you want to change your general tab on MS Config. You want to change it back to the normal startup if that is what it was currently set to. So just keep that in mind. Um, and besides that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.